The west coast of Canada, known for its rugged beauty, is a place where nature's raw power is often on full display. From the towering cliffs to the dense forests, this region is a testament to the untamed wilderness. However, this picturesque landscape is now facing a new and formidable challenge, a bomb cyclone. This meteorological phenomenon is characterized by a rapid drop in atmospheric pressure, leading to a powerful and often destructive storm. This powerful storm, a rapidly intensifying weather system, is unlike the usual weather pattern seen in this area. It is a force of nature that demands respect and preparation. Meteorologists have been closely monitoring the situation, and it is predicted to hit the coast of British Columbia with significant force. The storm's path and intensity are being tracked to provide the most accurate forecast possible. These storms are not everyday occurrences. They are rare, but when they do occur, they bring with them a level of intensity that can be both awe-inspiring and terrifying. The intensity and potential for damage make them a cause for concern. High winds can uproot trees and storm surges can lead to significant coastal flooding, impacting homes and infrastructure. Understanding the nature of this storm is crucial for residents to prepare and stay safe. Preparations are already underway, with emergency workers distributing sandbags and residents securing their properties. The coming days will be critical for British Columbia as the storm approaches. Communities are coming together, sharing resources and information to ensure everyone is as prepared as possible. The information presented here will equip you with the knowledge to face this weather event. From understanding the storm's characteristics to knowing the safety measures to take, being informed is the first step in staying safe. Stay tuned for more updates as we continue to track this developing situation. A bomb cyclone, also known as a weather bomb, is a low-pressure system that intensifies rapidly. This phenomenon is not just a simple storm, it's a meteorological event that can have significant impacts on weather patterns and human activities. The term bomb cyclone might sound dramatic, but it accurately describes the explosive nature of this weather event. This intensification happens when the pressure at the center of the storm drops significantly, at least 24 millibars, within a 24-hour period. This rapid drop in pressure is what sets a bomb cyclone apart from other types of storms. Meteorologists use barometers to measure this pressure change, and a sudden drop indicates that a bomb cyclone is forming. Imagine a balloon suddenly inflating. The rapid expansion of the balloon is similar to the rapid intensification of the storm. Just as the balloon stretches and grows, the storm system expands and becomes more powerful. That's similar to what happens in the atmosphere during a bomb cyclone. The clouds gather and grow, forming a massive storm system. This process is driven by the rapid drop in pressure, which causes the air to move and the storm to develop quickly. The rapid drop in pressure causes air to rush in, much like air rushing into the inflating balloon. This influx of air fuels the storm, making it stronger and more intense. The winds can become extremely powerful, causing damage to structures and creating hazardous conditions. This process, called bombogenesis, creates powerful winds and leads to the formation of a strong storm. Bombogenesis is a term that combines bomb and cyclogenesis, which means the creation of a cyclone. This process is a key factor in the development of some of the most intense and dangerous storms. The faster the pressure drops, the stronger the storm becomes. This rapid intensification can lead to severe weather conditions, including heavy rain, snow, and strong winds. Understanding bomb cyclones is crucial for meteorologists as they predict and prepare for these powerful storms. By studying the pressure changes and the development of these storms, meteorologists can provide warnings and help communities prepare for the impacts of a bomb cyclone. The bomb cyclone is expected to make landfall on the west coast of Vancouver Island. Coastal communities are predicted to experience the most severe impacts of the storm. Wind speeds are forecasted to reach up to 100 km per hour, with gusts potentially exceeding 120 km per hour. These wind speeds are strong enough to cause significant damage. Heavy rainfall is also anticipated, with some areas receiving over 100 mm of rain. This amount of rainfall in a short period can lead to localized flooding. The powerful winds associated with a bomb cyclone can uproot trees, tear down power lines, and damage buildings. Coastal areas are particularly vulnerable to storm surges and erosion. Heavy rainfall can cause flooding in low-lying areas overwhelming drainage systems. 
This can lead to property damage and disruptions to transportation. The combination of strong winds, heavy rain, and potential flooding can make travel extremely dangerous. It's essential to heed warnings from authorities and avoid unnecessary travel. Section 5. Staying safe in the storm's path. When a storm is on the horizon, especially one as powerful as a bomb cyclone, it's essential to be well prepared and take all necessary precautions to protect yourself, your loved ones, and your property. As the bomb cyclone approaches, it's crucial to take necessary precautions to ensure your safety. The first step is to stay informed. Keep an eye on weather forecasts and updates from reliable sources. Understanding the storm's path and potential impact can help you make informed decisions. Secure loose objects outside your home, such as patio furniture and garbage bins. These items can become dangerous projectiles in high winds. Additionally, bring in any lightweight items that could be easily blown away. Prepare for potential power outages by charging electronic devices. Make sure your phone, tablet, and other essential gadgets are fully charged. It's also wise to have backup power sources, such as power banks or portable chargers, ready to go, and having flashlights and batteries readily available. In the event of a power outage, you'll need reliable sources of light. Stock up on extra batteries and ensure your flashlights are in working order. It's also a good idea to have a supply of non-perishable food and water. Aim for at least a three-day supply of food and water for each person in your household. Canned goods, dry snacks, and bottled water are essential items to have on hand. If you live in a coastal area, be aware of the potential for storm surges. Storm surges can cause significant flooding and damage, so it's important to know if your home is in a vulnerable area, and be prepared to evacuate if necessary. Have an evacuation plan in place and know your evacuation routes. Pack an emergency kit with essential items, such as medications, important documents, and personal items, in case you need to leave quickly. Stay informed about weather updates. Regularly check weather reports on TV, radio, or through weather apps on your smartphone. Staying updated will help you stay ahead of the storm and make timely decisions. And heed any warnings issued by authorities. If local officials issue evacuation orders or other safety instructions, follow them promptly. Your safety and the safety of your loved ones depend on taking these warnings seriously. Remember, preparation is key to staying safe in the storm's path. Section 6. Heeding the Warnings Weather warnings are issued to provide timely and potentially life-saving information. Pay close attention to weather forecasts and heed any warnings issued by Environment Canada. Warnings are issued based on the severity of the expected weather conditions. A watch means that conditions are favorable for severe weather to occur, while a warning means that severe weather is imminent or already occurring. It's essential to understand the difference between a watch and a warning and to take appropriate action based on the information provided. Section 7. The Importance of Preparation Being prepared for severe weather events can make a significant difference in minimizing damage and ensuring safety. Take the time to develop a family emergency plan and practice it regularly. This plan should include knowing where to go and what to do in case of an evacuation, as well as having a communication plan in case family members are separated. Remember, it's always better to be overprepared than underprepared. Taking proactive steps can help you and your loved ones stay safe during severe weather. Section 8. Climate Change and Extreme Weather Scientists have observed an increase in the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events, such as bomb cyclones, in recent years. Climate change is believed to be a contributing factor. As global temperatures rise, the atmosphere holds more moisture, leading to heavier rainfall. Warmer ocean temperatures can also fuel the intensification of storms. While it's difficult to attribute any single weather event directly to climate change, the overall trend is clear. We must address climate change to mitigate the impacts of extreme weather. Section 9. Our Shared Responsibility We all have a role to play in addressing climate change and reducing our impact on the environment. By making conscious choices in our daily lives, we can contribute to a more sustainable future Simple actions, such as reducing energy consumption, using public transportation, and supporting sustainable businesses, can make a difference. Let's work together to protect our planet and ensure a safe and healthy future for generations to come.